Well, what is up guys nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome back to the channel iphone 11 pro versus iphone 14 pro so in this episode we're going to talk about if it's really worth it to upgrade over here to the iphone 14 pro now that i've had the 11 pro for several years now and i've had this for a couple of months already here with the iPhone 14 Pro. So we're gonna begin by talking about the price point, $9.99, and some people are claiming this is the best iPhone or the best phone in general for $1,000, and it would be hard to argue against that. I mean, it might just be, it has stainless steel body, it does have really good triple cameras, dynamic island, OLED display, super smooth promotion, super fast, A16 Bionic chipset, the fastest in the world basically, six gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 11 Pro though, you were rocking a 5.8 inch OLED display, 60 Hertz right here. And this also had that iPhone 10 like design, which a lot of people just loved because this design right here really did give you a really comfortable feel with really nice triple camera setup right here for the iPhone 11 Pro. So it still had a lot going for it, but when just talking in terms of body and build, I definitely would recommend the upgrade. Reason being here is because you're going to the more modern looking industrial design of the iPhone 14 Pro. Yes, some people say it actually looks older because you took it back to the iPhone 4S in five days. But honestly, I think, you know, having the squared edges matching the iPads and everything, it's a little bit more modern looking than the rounded edges of the iPhone 11 Pro. Not to say those were bad. These actually feel quite comfortable in the hand. But in terms of the back material, Apple has carried on the iPhone 11 Pro into the iPhone 14 Pro. It essentially has a similar material on the back. You can see just how much larger the cameras actually got. And overall, the iPhone 14 Pro just feels more weighty, like a little bit more of a premium device than the iPhone 11 Pro. So if you're looking for more premium, you'll definitely wanna do this upgrade. It definitely feels that way. You can also see that the Dynamic Island really makes this look like a very up-to-date phone. I mean, look at the notch now versus Dynamic Island. It just looks like a much older phone there on the iPhone 11 Pro at this point. Now, in terms of the display quality, what do you really notice here that's different if you upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro? In my experience, there's a few things. The bezels look a little bit thinner than that of the iPhone 11 Pro. You can see they're definitely thicker here. So the iPhone 14 Pro kind of feels more closer to all screen, but then you see this pill, the dynamic island up here, and that kind of gets in the way a little bit. But overall, it just feels like closer to an all screen than this phone due to the bezels in the thick or the wider notch up here. Now, in terms of actual scrolling, you'll also notice here with this display difference is promotion is much smoother. So I definitely would consider doing this upgrade if you want, you know, to have just a much smoother experience. It's definitely worth it. Colors wise, you're not going to be overly impressed with the just the overall saturation and stuff like that. You'll feel like you have something similar. But what you'll really notice is how much brighter this phone looks. The iPhone 14 Pro just blows away the 11 Pro in brightness, which is kind of funny because I remember when the iPhone 11 Pro came out, this phone was actually incredibly bright, you know, for the time being. Not that it's not bright today, it's still quite bright, but it doesn't look anywhere near as bright as something like an iPhone 14 Pro. However, the iPhone 11 is more comparable to something like the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus in its brightness, so it's still not bad. It's still very good, but those are the things you're gonna notice. Also, you'll notice when you are, you know, in landscape and stuff like that, that the notch and the dynamic island look a little bit different. Also, you'll notice that when you are in landscape, you will see the dynamic island if you zoom in on things here for the 14 Pro, and the same will hold true for the 11 Pro if you zoom in on things, dynamic island will show up. Other than that, there's not a major difference. They operate the same, they have the same software on board, so just the overall experience of using these is quite similar. Although, if you felt like the iPhone 11 Pro was the perfect size, this does feel a little bit more of a, like a little bit less comfortable because the round they're not rounded edges no more and it feels a little bigger. So it feels like you're reaching a little more on the iPhone 14 Pro 
as compared to the 11 Pro. Now when comparing the software between both of these phones here, you are gonna get iOS 16.1.1 as of the recording of this video. Essentially, you know, it's really always down to them camera updates. That's really all you see every year with the software changes. Cause you know, 16.1.1 is gonna run the same on both phones. That's actually really good for iPhone 11 Pro users who had this phone since it came out back in 2019 that you're still like looking super modern. I mean, if you don't, if you don't got the, the funds right now, or you just don't want to upgrade right now, you, you're fine. Like the software is the same thing on both phones. So I don't wanna, you know, talk your job, talk my job around software because it's iOS, it's widgets, it's app libraries, it's lock screens come over here. That's what it is, you know, it's basically the same thing. You know, you got the camera updates in the iPhone 14 Pro when you go over here into settings and you go to camera, that's where you'll notice some of the updates, mostly in here, formats, raw, stuff like that. That's really where it changes a lot. And other than that, essentially the same thing. Storage wise, if you are running low on storage, I would consider, like if you need the one terabyte option, I would consider going to the 14 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro was the phone to offer the 512 gig. So you could get that with half the amount you could get on the 14 Pro, but if you need more, go to the iPhone 14 Pro. That would definitely be worth it for you, for sure. So let's switch gears to the cameras. Now, I could take these out and do a full-blown camera comparison, but you do know that it's not gonna be comparable. These phones are essentially three years apart. So let's go ahead and bring in the iPhone 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max with the green case. Now, the 11 Pro was the phone that brought the incredible camera experience to iPhone with the triple lens setup. This was such a big deal at the time, having the ultra wide, the ability to go into 2X and then the main. Now on the iPhone 14 Pro, you add the 3X now, the 2X, the ultra wide, the macro mode. I mean, the incredible systems on both, but I will say you're upgrading a major amount on the iPhone 14 Pro. You cannot do macro mode on here versus on the iPhone 14 Pro. You can see just a difference in results if you try to get close on that main sensor. I mean, you're getting cinematic mode as well. If you're into video, if you're into photo, you're improving across the board here. Cinematic, front-facing cameras better, more zooming abilities on here, better portrait modes, better raw modes. I mean, it totally, annihilates the iPhone 4, 11 Pro when it comes to, you know, a camera upgrade. This is probably the biggest thing about these. That doesn't mean the 11 Pro is bad. This camera is still very capable uh, camera here in 2022. It's not going to let you down, but there is definitely more noise when you zoom into the photos and the 14 Pro is just a major upgrade over this. So if you do want you know, the best camera out there. And this is an area where you'd be like, I just want a better camera on my phone. This is probably my number one reason to recommend to do the upgrade. This is something people don't talk about much, but the battery life is a pretty good upgrade here to the iPhone 14 Pro. The 11 Pro easily lasted all day, but so does the 14 Pro. I don't find the 14 Pro to drastically impress me over the iPhone 11 Pro, but what I will say is that, you know, when you were impressed with your 11 Pro's battery for its size, you're gonna be impressed with the iPhone 14 Pro's battery for its size. I do think last year's 13 Pro was a little bit better than this phone though. But if this is the area where you're considering the upgrade and you're like, I don't know, is the battery okay? Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. One area that is improved on the iPhone 14 Pro doesn't get discussed a lot is the actual audio quality that comes out of the speakers. It's actually a good few decibels louder than the iPhone 11 Pro. So if you are looking for increased audio performance, you'll like that. Not only that, one of the biggest changes, which doesn't seem to get a lot of attention either, is 5G, But and the phone call quality, reception, 5G, these are things that get a lot more love on the iPhone 14 Pro, as in they work much better. Now the 11 Pro, it's not like the phone doesn't work. It didn't work, it did work. Uh, Apple's not gonna put out a phone that doesn't work. But what I will say is that this phone had less bar strength. It would drop 
call a couple times here and there where it didn't have that problem much on a 14 pro so if you are looking for the better phone call experience the better you know mobile communications phone it's going to be the 14 pro that's actually a better phone overall so the question is should you do the upgrade i mean clearly it seems like i've just been praising the 14 pro this whole video but i want to give the 11 pro it's it's props too you know this phone is comfy in the hand it's still runs fantastic cameras are very acceptable in 2022 battery life is still a, a champ it still gets through the day and it runs all the software you need in your life day to day 14 pro literally improves on everything of that phone though so if you are looking for an upgrade if you're ready to you got the funds you just want to do the upgrade and you're worried a little bit maybe i'm not gonna be super happy with that upgrade don't because you are going to be very happy Let's just put it this way. If you love the year 11 Pro, you're going to love your 14 Pro. Now, if you're looking for something that is a drastic change, I don't think this is that. Like if you're looking for a foldable or something way out of, you know, planet Earth that's just super different, won't feel like that. It'll feel like my 11 Pro on steroids, basically. So let me know your thoughts on the 11 Pro versus the 14 Pro. Are you going to upgrade? Did you already do the upgrade? Are you sticking with your 11 Pro or Pro Max? Let us know down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.